In this modern time, someone can trace his or her lineage up to seven generations back with good accuracy by genetic ancestry testing. It means you could discover your race of origin and appreciate the mix of races of your ancestors in your genes, and avoid hating them. Superman can claim that he's from another planet, but no one can reject the possibility of his 7th or maybe 19th ancestor coming from planet Earth since he is so human-like, right? He could be 76% British, 12% Eritrean, 7% Iranian, and 5% Kryptonian and may inherit male pattern baldness before 50, just like regular men. The significant knowledge we have now is the gradual result of dynamic collaborations of interdisciplinary sciences. Mathematics is heavily utilized in physics, chemistry has innumerable references in biology, and in this case, geography needs help in extracting data from DNA variations in order to reveal the geographical location of one's ancestry origin, which is what biology is fully capable of. More collaborations include analyzing species evolution, population, and distribution in certain regions. Knowing the population change of living organisms is necessary, especially for preventing extinction, but utilizing the same data, particularly the population of fish and coral reefs, for economical advantage is no less important. Take the Atlantic bluefin tuna, a migratory fish that's mostly caught for sushi and sashimi. Its population once declined dramatically in the 1900s due to overfishing, and it's still on endangered status. Now, by monitoring the bluefin tuna's population and maintaining its stability, the seafood industries that rely on the fish's abundance will be able to ensure long-term profitability. Larger populations of marine life are also supported by healthy and diverse coral reef ecosystems. Preserving the population of coral reefs and, by extension, having tourist visits from divers and marine enthusiasts will in turn grant fishermen and the local communities with increased economic growth. The climatology plays an essential factor in the equation as well, because it emphasizes on how the climate condition and its changes affect living beings' survival and adaptation. This variable in turn contributes to population changes under the disciplinary area of geography as it impacts species distribution and migration for food and shelter. On top of the interactions between geography, economics and climatology, measuring the population of species and distributions and many other biological phenomena requires intensive statistical and mathematical tools from the field of mathematics. We estimate the density of bluefin tuna in the Atlantic Ocean from random sampling. Its population dynamics should consider the growth, exploitation, and migration data throughout the season. Age-based population structure of fish often uses mean length of fish as index. Shifts to smaller mean lengths shows the overfishing of bigger fish. Other mathematical aspects of biology cover various organization levels, from fractal function to arrangement of muscle cells filaments such as actin and myosin. Actin are the cell cytoskeleton, whose systematic structure can be explained by exponential functions. Even in the most undemanding subject of interdisciplinary sciences, we cannot reduce the relationships of biology with its closest relatives, chemistry and physics. The application of physics in biological phenomena is actually inseparable, because all subjects studied in biology are made of atoms and agree to the principles of physics. The gravity that pulls down the atoms of a baby bluefin tuna as it leaps out is one quick example. Some other examples of physics in our body are the acoustics inside the ears, the vision optics, and the pressure and viscosity of blood. The chemical compounds and processes that occur in living beings, such as the metabolism process, proton pumps, and protein structure, are meanwhile explained by chemistry. Recently, researchers keep pushing boundaries by combining artificial intelligence in their work, such as developing an AI-based diagnosis that can deliver health results in two minutes by detecting the concentration of biofluids that may indicate some health problems. Now, can you tell another example of discipline that relates to biology? Comment below.